by Wolfpack. Please welcome to the stage your host for Olympia Weekend, the voice of bodybuilding, Bob Chikorello. unfold itself for this year's Olympia title. And that's not just in the men's, but straight across the board. Over 400 athletes qualifying this year. That does make this the biggest Olympia of all time. And I couldn't be happier that we're back here in Vegas. We're going to get to the athletes in just a bit, folks. But we've got a little business to take care of first. That, of course, is the weekend and how it unfolds. All the activities are going to be, of course, at the Expo. That's going to be at the Venetian. Uh, very nicely put together. I think you guys are going to like what you see. A lot of sponsors have come back now that we've gotten past the COVID years. So it's great to have some of the big, big boxes coming back and uh, setting up shop. Of course, you'll see all that action. Lots of new activities going on there. And, of course, sponsors and events. Uh, you're going to see that everything's been super sized here at the Olympia. No greater year than this year, of course, with a record amount of athletes competing. But we always like to start things off right here with the press conference. And uh, I'm glad everybody was able to come out here and enjoy because I think we've got a great show lined up for you. Folks, this show actually has been three years in the making, believe it or not. There's a lot of pieces that had to get put together, but this was actually going to take place a few years back. Got put off by the COVID. All the boys got together. And of course, Jake Wood, I can't see anything because of lights, but here's Jake right down in front. Your Olympia owner, folks, Jake Wood. While well, other events canceled around the world, Jake said, no, 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 we're not canceling nothing. Matter of fact, we're going to put the prize money up even bigger. We're going to have the biggest stage in Olympia history, and the show will go on, and history will be made. Thank you, Jake, for everything that you do for our sport. When you talk about putting the pieces together, like I said, almost three years ago, they were starting to put the pieces together. Then they had to do an 11th hour change. We ended up in Orlando. Turned out absolutely fantastic, but... If I could tell you all the people that, that have to uh, uh, come together to put an event like this on, it would take me forever. But I got somebody better, and that, of course, is Dan Solomon. He's right down here in the front. What's up, Dan? Yeah, for your Olympia president. Actually, Dan, don't sit down. You know what? Why don't you come on up here? Because you know this stuff a whole lot better than I do. So, Dan, come on up on stage, man. Just give me a couple minutes with you. Come on up, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the president of the Olympia, Dan Solomon. I told you we'd get you on stage this weekend, all right? I wore my lucky sweater. So let me tell you something, Bob. Um, I got to be honest. The last couple of years, if you turned on uh, the various business news outlets like CNBC or whatever news channels you watch, you watched all the, uh, the industries around the world struggle as we were ravaged by a global <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> and along the way, we watched our friends and other businesses and other industries struggle and we saw companies shrink. We saw people revisit the way they even do business. We saw company by company struggle in ways that were heartbreaking. And it was a tough thing to see. But what I learned over the last couple of years is that the passion, devotion, dedication that lives in this room can conquer anything, even a global pandemic. Yep. Woo. And I say this because there were more events held over the last year than we have ever held, thanks to the NPC and the IFPB Professional League. Outside of the United States, there was over 250 events, and they took place with record participation. In nearly every measurable, whether it was sports nutrition companies, apparel businesses, exercise equipment companies, they were thriving and growing in the face 
of one of the most difficult times in economic history. And that really filled me to know how impenetrable we are when it comes to rivaling our passion against anything that comes our way. But with that said, you opened tonight, Bob, and you said to this crowd that this is the biggest Olympia we've ever had. Um, I think it's important to tell you this, and then I'm going to sit down. I think it's important to tell you guys something as you're making your way around Las Vegas and the Venetian Convention Center and, of course, the Zappos Theater down the hall. Um, that, that stage production is going to knock your socks off. But I will tell you that as you're going through this, what I'm about to tell you is not promoter bullshit. It is not hyperbole or nonsense or just stuff so we can hear ourselves say great things about what we do. What I'm about to tell you is a statement of measurable fact. When you look at our ticket sales, the Zappos Theater for our main production has been sold out for over a month. Earlier this week, we staged the Amateur Olympia where 800 registrations took place. It was the largest Amateur Olympia in the history of the time we've been doing this. Sponsorships are at an all-time high. This coming weekend, more than 400 IFBB, IFBB professional athletes will compete in 11 divisions for more prize money than has ever been awarded in the history of bodybuilding competition. And it all adds up to one thing, and listen clearly. You guys are attending the biggest bodybuilding and fitness event of all time. Yeah. And Bob, since they told us we are not allowed to drop mics, I'm just going to hand it back to you. Let's get it. Give it up for Dan Solomon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome three-time men's physique Olympia champion, Brandon Erickson. And 2021 Arnold Classic Men's Physique Champion, Aaron Hanks! All right, out here with the champ, Brandon Henderson has made his way back to defend that title. You look good, you look lean, you look ready. I've been ready since I got on stage last year. Yeah, I like that, right? Well, who's this guy next to you over here? He looks like he means business. It's not my concern. Not your concern. Oh, man. What do you say that, Aaron? He's not even concerned about you. He didn't even know you're standing there. I just had to point that out to him. He's a man of few words. It's a press conference, Aaron. You gotta say something. Give me that. Well, I just got my mic, Bob. How you doing? Always. He know who I am. He know exactly who I am. Question is, is he's going to know who you are on game day, which is coming up. What you think? He know. I'm not judging. They're down here. You got to ask. Uh, I saw Tyler well, see, they, down there. They're, they're not getting paid today. What do you think, Tyler? <laughs> they're not getting paid today. Who's better? Nah, don't say nothing. That's right. We're going to see Saturday. We're going to see Saturday. Most definitely. Listen, this guy's hard to beat. He's very hard to beat. He's got that title back a couple of times now. That's how tough he is. Ali, that's what made Ali that great. He, not, not just winning the title, but winning it back. Extremely rare in bodybuilding. And, and this is an even year, too. Uh, I was just going to point that out, sir. So we've got kind of... To a, lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He does seem to win on even-numbered years, right? So we got that going for you. But you've been tearing it up this year, man. Great year. Going to put yourself in a front-runner position. Um, now, bodybuilding, obviously, you know, uh, we're all in the, the world of bodybuilding. We, we put all the classes in that category. Um, but in men's physique, it's a little bit different because the trash talk that goes on on stage is second to none. Everybody always asks me, when those guys are out, do they talk to each other? Do they, uh, and I always tell them, it's like, they all think it's the bodybuilders. It's like, no, no, it's men's physique. Men's physique talks more trash on stage than any other division that we have. And it all takes place from behind all right, kind of goes something like this, all right? So here, you guys, on the line, guys, on the line. Don't go over the line. Steve will kill you on that one, right? Yeah, yeah, that, you can be in the center. That's okay for now, but... So here's what happens, right? Judges are down there, Tyler and the crew, and they're doing the calls, Big Steve. All right, gentlemen, face the curtain. 
No, he, he don't want to do that. No, hang on, hang he on. Don't do that. Hang on. No, we got to do this right, though. Okay. Guys, assume the, the front position that you guys do in men's physique. Yeah, yeah it's okay on a pose. Yeah. All right, so here's what you see from the front. Here's what you guys see, right? Now, all right, smiles, looking handsome, right, looking good, right, posturing. Gentlemen, face the curtain. Here's what I see back here, right? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, give me something. This is what I, now you guys see this, this is what I hear. We don't, we don't really talk those days, in the back pose. <laughs> yeah, listen, he's being shy, this is what I hear. Man, you ain't got nothing, man, you ain't got nothing, man. You ain't gonna stand next to me, man. Let me tell you something, man, you better get off the stage right now, man. Yeah, don't be throwing that elbow to me. Don't be throwing that elbow to me, I'll tell you what, you better move, man. You better move your, right? And that, here's what happens right now. You better shut your mouth right now. Then they turn around, and gentlemen, face the, face the judges. Here's what you got, the smiles. Give it up for two champs, folks. They'll be battling it out for that title.